Good evening, everybody. Can you all uh, hear it loud and clearly? Just let me know in the chat. Huh? Just let me know in the chat. Can you hear me loud and clearly? Can you hear me loud and clearly? Perfect. Right. Clearly you can hear, no? Loud and clear.
to start now. Good evening, everybody. Uh, today we'll be discussing uh, unit test for MCQ paper, like uh, I promised y'all. Uh, let's start work. So, thirty MCQs. Here we go. MCQ number one. MCQ number one. A water drop of mass twenty grams falls to the ground with a uniform velocity eight meters per second. From a height of twenty meters, what is the air resistance force acting on the water droplet? So here we can find the initial energy. So twenty meters here falls to the ground with a uniform velocity eight from a height of twenty meters. What is the air resistance force? So when it's hitting the ground here. You have velocity of eight meters per second. You have velocity of eight meters per second, right? So what's going to happen? Total energy here, gravitational potential energy, mass twenty grams converted into kilograms, g times h, three zeros. Three zeros cancel off. Here you have four joules. What about the total energy on the flow? Half mass into velocity square. Mass is twenty grams convert into kilograms. Eight squared sixty four. So here ten divided by thousand into sixty four. Simplify this. Point six four joules. Point six four joules. So here there is going to be a loss in energy that is work done by air resistance. Work done by air resistance. So four minus zero point six four. Air resistance multiplied by displacement. There you go. Simplify this. Three point three six divided by twenty. That is your air resistance force. Air resistance force here zero point one. One hundred and thirty six. One hundred and thirty six. You have uh, around six hundred and twenty. One hundred and sixty. You have eight. So here, approximately zero point two newtons. You can find approximately zero point two newtons. You can find. So here there is energy. Here there is energy. The loss in energy is the work done by air resistance. The loss in energy is the work done by the air resistance. So here you can select answer number three. Answer number three, right? Okay. Moving on. Question number two. Question number two. Here you have four kilogram connected to another mass here. One kilogram. So A is four kilogram. B is one kilogram. We are applying a force F one. There you go. Now the same thing, the opposite way. Here you have A. Here you have B. 
A is 4 kilogram, B is 1 kilogram. Now we are applying it on the opposite side. Right. What are they asking you? Acceleration of A is equal to acceleration of B due to the two horizontal forces F1 and F2. What are the ratios of F1 and F2? Now this full system has acceleration A. Full system has acceleration A. Actually total mass is also same. Total mass here, total mass here same. Acceleration same, force should be same. So simply answer is answer 1. But if you are applying equations and checking it, F1 equals 4 plus 1 times A in that direction. F2 equals 4 plus 1 times A forward direction. 1 divided by 2 you will get. F1 divided by F2 is 1 is to 1 ratio. 1 is to 1 ratio. Right. So here your answer is answer number 1. Question number 3. Question number 3. When a box of weight W is inside elevator at rest, force on the box by the elevator is F1. When the elevator is moving upwards with acceleration, force will. Right. So you all know basic work. So here you have a box. They are giving you force F1. Here the weight is going to be W. Here acceleration is going to be what? Simple A. Apply F equal MA on the mass. F1 minus W equal, what's the mass? W over G. Weight divided by G is the mass times acceleration. F1 equal W plus WA over G. So what has happened? Initially when it's at rest, F1 equal W. Now F1 W plus WA over G. So it has increased by WA over G. Answer is answer number 3. Answer is answer number 3. Okay. So answer is answer number 3. Pretty simple direct work. Okay. Question number 4. Question number 4. Accelerations of the masses kept on a smooth horizontal flow due to three horizontal forces are shown in the figure. What is the ratio of A1 over A2? A1 over A2. Right. So here there is a mass. Force is F, mass is M, acceleration A. Here you can say F is equal to MA. Here you can say F is equal to MA. Here, force is half, acceleration A1, mass is 2M. So if I apply F equal MA here forward, F divided by 2, mass is 2M, acceleration A. From here you can say F is equal to MA. So MA divided by 2. 2 times MA1. MM cancel off. A1 is A divided by 2. A1 is A divided by 2. Okay. Right. Then what? Here you have a mass M. Here you have a mass 2M. We are applying how much? 3F. Here acceleration A2. Simplify this carefully. Apply for the full system. F equal MA in the forward direction. You have total mass is 3M into A2. 3, 3 cancel off. Force equals MA. M into A2. MM cancel off. A2 equals A. What are they asking you? They are asking the ratio A1 divided by A2. A1 is A over 2. A2 is simple A. Ratio is going to be half. Okay, no? F over 2, 2M. Oh, I'm sorry. M, M cancel off. This comes down. This should be 4. 
There you go, that's four. So here it's four. So one no four. One no four is answer number five. One no four is answer number five. Okay. Question number five. Question number five. Look at this. Mean force is the rate of change of momentum. Momentum of a ball changed by 10 kg ms minus 1 during 20 milliseconds. What's the mean force? Mean force is change in momentum over change in time. 10 kilogram, 20 millisecond. Milli means 10 to the power minus 3. So that's going to be 1000 over or 10,000 over 20. Your mean force is going to be 500 newtons. Correct answer is answer number 5. Correct answer is answer number 5. Right. Question number 6. Question number 6. Question number 6. A force F acts on two masses A and B kept on a smooth horizontal plane. When B is kept on A, both move with the same acceleration, right? Without slipping on each other. So both are moving together means uh, they are saying about the friction between them. That means there is no slip, no slip between them. What's the ratio of the force on A by B in the first instant? Force on A by B in the second instant. Right. Let's look. The first case, here you have a mass capital M. Here you have a mass, what? Simple M. Apply a force F. Now the idea is force on A by B. This is B, this is A. So if you mark the forces, I'll mark it as F1, F1 here. Let's apply for the full system, F equal MA. F equal MA for the full system. If you apply F equals simple M plus capital M into acceleration A, A1 equals F divided by simple M plus capital M. Now you can apply separately here. Here acceleration will be A1. Apply F equal MA separately on capital A. F1 equals simple M times capital F, simple M plus capital F. Simple M plus capital F. F1 power. Next instant, B is here, A is on top. Here you have simple MG. Don't forget normal reactions are acting. Here capital MG and of course smooth surface. Yeah, applying. Here you go, F. So if I apply F equal MA here on the system, capital F is equal to simple M plus capital M into acceleration A. A is equal to capital F, simple M plus capital F. Separately apply F equal MA on A. Now here when you mark the forces, both are going together means here there will be a force, F2. Equal opposite force acting there. Right. Guaranteed static friction is here. So here F2, mass into acceleration F divided by simple M plus capital M. Simple M plus capital M. Now they are asking you what is the ratio? No? Equation 1 is here. Equation 2 is there. 1 divided by 2. F1 over F2, you can see they will cancel off. 1 is to 1. 1 is to 1 means answer is answer number 1. What's the shortcut? The total mass of the system is the same. So the applied force is the same. That is one shot you can say. Answer is answer number 1. Yeah. One shot you can say. Answer is answer number 1. Answer is answer number 1. Okay, so total mass of the system is the same, both cases, 
So force applied between them will be the same. So ratio is going to be 1 is to 1. Ratio is going to be 1 is to 1. Right. Question number 7. Question number 7. Force acting on a mass M kept on a smooth plane is gradually increased from 0 to F0. What's the variation of the normal reaction force acting on the mass with time if F0 is lesser than mg? F0 is going to be lesser than mg. So here you go. You have uh, mg here. You have normal reaction there. And you have a force F0. So F0 is smaller than mg. F0 is increased from 0. So if I put a time versus F0 graph, they are not given. F0 is increasing like this. So what can you say? Sum of forces in the upward direction, sum of forces in the downward direction, normal reaction is mg plus F0. So initially if you draw the graph, initially if you draw the graph, normal reaction with time. When F0 increases, I can write like this mg plus kt. The graph is of the form y is equal to kt. So here if you write it r equal kt g. Graph is of the form y is equal to mx plus c. y equal mx plus c. So increases up to F0 and constant. So initial case, it will increase here, then remains constant. Starting from mg. After some time, it's going to be F0. F0 plus mg. And then constant. Correct answer is answer number 3. Question number 8. Question number 8. The force F in the above sum now acts in the upward direction. The variation of its magnitude with time is given below. Peak value of F is F0. What is the variation? What is the variation of the normal reaction? So technically the graph has not been printed. That's the problem there. So I had to give all for that. I had to give all for that. Because the graph there for the force versus variation time is not printed. Ninth one. A 20 Newton force, here you go, A is there. A is there. Here B is there. 20 Newton force is applied on A. 20 Newton force is applied on A. Eight Newton force is acting on B, equal opposite. They are asking the mass ratio between A and B. What is the mass ratio between A and B? So simple work. Full system if you apply, if you apply here, if we equal MA on A, 20 minus 8 equal MA times acceleration A. 12 equal MA times acceleration A, equation number 1. Apply F equal MA on B. F equal MA on B. What will you get? 8 Newton. Mass is MB into acceleration. Same. So mass ratio means divide one by the other. If you divide one by the other, you can get 12 divided by 8 equals MA times simple A, MB times simple A. MA over MB you can write. How much? 3 divided by 2, 1.5. 3 over 2 means answer is answer number 2. Answer is answer number 2. Right? So, quickly you can work it. MCQ number 10. MCQ number 10. When a mass is kept on a compression balance. Now in a compression balance, who gives you the reading? In a compression balance, the reading is given by what? Normal. Compression, huh? normal reaction. In a spring balance, who gives you reading? Tension on the hook. Right. 
from a compression balance in which of the following instances is the reading maximum? Accelerating upwards or deaccelerating downwards is your maximum reading. If you can remember earlier, accelerating upwards or deaccelerating downwards. That's where you have the maximum reading. So from here we can say when moving upwards, when moving upwards with uniform speed wrong, when moving upwards with uniform speed wrong, when moving upwards with acceleration one, that's okay. When moving upwards with deacceleration two, no, that's not okay. When moving downwards with a uniform deacceleration two. Moving downwards with the uniform deacceleration two. Right. Look at this carefully. Reading is maximum. So here you are keeping on a compression scale. Normal reaction mg. Accelerating upwards or deaccelerating downwards. Deaccelerating downwards. From this you can say F equal MA upward acceleration R minus MG. That is MA. R equal mg plus ma. Or you can say F equal ma downwards mg minus normal reaction m times minus a. R equal mg plus ma. Right. You all tell me. Upward acceleration or downward deacceleration. So which has the greatest acceleration magnitude? Fifth one. Uniform deacceleration moving downwards. So your selection is between 3 and 5. Correct answer is going to be answer number 5. 11th one. Okay. A bu bullet 0 0.03 kg. A bullet 0 0.03 kg. Moves with a velocity 200 meters per second. Moves with a velocity 200 meters per second. And collides with a wooden block. 0.32 kilogram at rest. 0.32 kilogram at rest. And then moves as a single object. And then moves as a single object. So what? Inelastic collision. 0 0.35 kg. Bullet is also inside. They move together. What are they asking you? What is the initial velocity of the compound object? So you should directly apply total initial linear momentum equals total final linear momentum. Initial is 0 0.03 multiplied by 200. Final is 0 0.35 multiplied by velocity V1. Simplify this V1 is equal to two decimal places. 3 over 200 divided by 35. 5 times 7, 5 times 40. 120 divided by 7. 120 divided by 7. So here you will get how much? 1. So 7. 50 you have 7. 1. So V1 approximately 70. 17 means answer number 3. So directly we are applying law of conservation of linear momentum. Right. MCQ 12. MCQ 12. Wait. In which of the following statements is always true regarding elastic collisions? What's elastic collision? A elastic collision is a collision where the kinetic energy is conserved. Loss of kinetic energy of one molecule is equal to the increment of the kinetic energy of the other molecule. So 12 answer 3. So how is the energy conserved? The loss in kinetic energy of one is equal to the gain of the kinetic energy of the other. That's how it's conserved. So 12th answer 3. 12th answer 3. Right. MCQ 30. MCQ 30. A horizontal force F varies with time is applied on a 30 uh, ice block 30 kg so they are given you ice block 
I've given you ice block. So here you go. It varies. So here you can say 1. Here 20. Here 2. Here 10. Here 3. Right. What are they asking you? What is the velocity of the ice block after 3 seconds if the block is on a smooth surface? Now, all of you all should know this. Area under the force time graph will give you impulse. Impulse will give you change in linear momentum. Yeah. Change in linear momentum. So, area under the graph area under the graph that gives you change in linear momentum. Change in linear momentum. Now from here you can apply. It's a trapezium area. So at the two parallel lengths, at the two parallel lengths, here 1, here 2, divided by 2, multiply by the perpendicular distance, plus, here it's a rectangle, 10 times 1, change in momentum is final momentum minus initial momentum, final momentum 30 times V, let's say it's at rest. 10 there, 30 plus 10 equal 30 V. 40 equals 30 V. V is equal to 4 over 3. 4 over 3 is 1.33 meter per second. Answer number 1. Answer number 1. So very simple. Huh? Area under the graph gives you change in linear momentum. Find the area under the graph. That is equal to change in linear momentum. Final momentum minus initial momentum. Easily you can get your answer. Okay. Simple work. Huh? Don't panic. Simple work. Right. MCQ 40. MCQ 40. An object A of mass 2 kg moves with velocity 2. Collides with another object 3 kg. So 2 kg object. Travelling forward with 2 meters per second. Collides with another object 3 kilogram. Travelling in the opposite direction with 4 meters per second. Right. What's the change of momentum of AB system after the collision if both objects combine after the collision? So what's the change in linear momentum they are asking you? So... Whatever happens, what can you say about the change in linear momentum? Can you apply law of conservation of linear momentum? Yes. Initial linear momentum equals final linear momentum. So change in linear momentum is going to be how much? Zero. There's nothing to think. That is answer number one. Some of you all based the time calculated. Read the question. They're asking change. You can apply law of conservation of linear momentum means initial momentum equal final momentum. If initial momentum equal final momentum, change in momentum is zero. MCQ 15. A trolley of mass 2 kg is moving on a horizontal surface. There's a trolley. It's moving on a horizontal surface. 2 kg. 0.5 meters per second. Sand is falling on this. 500 grams of sand is added. 500 grams of sand is added. So now 2.5 kilogram. They are asking the change in momentum. Yes, velocity will change. But initial momentum equals final momentum. So the change in momentum here also is zero. Change in momentum is zero. Answer number one. Change in momentum is zero. Simple work. 
एम सी क्यू सिक्सटी एम सी क्यू सिक्सटी बॉल ऑफ मास एम मूविंग इथ बेलो ऑस्ट यू कलाइव इथ इलास्टिकल विथ अन अदर ऑब्जेक्ट कॅपिटल एम एंड मूव्स इन द सेम डिरेक्शन विथ अ वेलॉस्ट यू ओवर टू वॉट इज द रेशियो सिम्पल एम ओवर कॅपिटल एम सो दे आर गिविंग यू सिम्पल एम ट्रॅव्हलिंग विथ अ वेलॉस्ट यू कलाइज विथ अन अदर मास कॅपिटल एम मॅट रेस after collision travels in the same direction with u over 2 they are asking what is the ratio now this is going with the velocity v so all of you all know that's it loss in kinetic energy of a loss in kinetic energy of a equals gain in kinetic energy of b this is b loss is equal to half simple m u square half simple m u over 2 whole thing square gain is half capital m v1 square initial zero simplify this half m u square is 1 minus 104 half capital m v1 square v1 square so from this half half cancel out simple m over capital m no simple m over capital m u times 3 over 4 v1 square that is also easy you can find that also initial momentum equals final momentum i'll make short cut mu equals mu over 2 capital m v1 simplify it mu over 2 capital m v1 so from here v1 you can say mu over 2 capital m substitute m u over 2 capital m since i have space i'll do it here itself and finish simple m over capital m u square 3 over 4 v1 square is m square u square 4 times capital m square simplify it simple m cancel off capital m cancel off 4 4 cancel off u square u square cancel off from this you can get simple m over capital m means of the ratio 3 this means your answer is answer number 5 here answer number 5 so from here i have shown it this bit zero no this bit i can show it simply here no change in momentum is zero there you go simple m over capital m is 3 answer number 5 mcq 17 mcq 17 a wooden block 2 kg a wooden block 2 kg traveling at 2 meters per second collides with another wooden block 2 kg there you go complete inelastic collision with another wooden block of mass 2 kg at rest what's the percentage loss what do you mean by complete inelastic collision complete inelastic collision means after collision they will move together complete inelastic collision after collision they will move together so total initial linear momentum actually if mcqs don't write this mc goes and all they won't give you marks for writing all of this no? so i will uh, anyway i'll just put short form initial sum of initial momentum see initial momentum equal final momentum quickly i'll solve it 2 times 2 in the forward direction 4 times v1 velocity is equal to 1 meter per second there you go forward 
What are they asking you? Loss in percentage loss. Loss in kinetic energy is initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy divided by initial kinetic energy multiplied by 100. Initial kinetic energy belongs here as well as there. This divided by that is 1. Kinetic energy final kinetic energy initial into 100. Carefully do the substitution. Final kinetic energy half times 4 times 1 square. Initial half times 2 times 2 square. Half half cancel off. 4 divided by 8 is half. 4 divided by 8 is half. Into 100%. Into 100%. So there is going to be a 50% loss. 50% loss, answer is answer 3. 50% loss, answer is answer 3. 50% right? loss, answer is answer, is answer 3. MCQ 18. Figure shows the force variation. Sprinter from uh, variation of force on the hip joint. Whose mass of the upper body is 50 kg with time. What's the change in velocity of the sprinter? So again, area under the graph, area under FT graph, change in momentum, change in linear momentum. Right. So here, triangle is there, half base into height plus trapezium is there. 1000 plus 500 divided by 2 into distance. Perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance. That's point 0.2. Plus the area there. 500 multiplied by point 0.2. Change in momentum 50 times V. Simplified point 0.1 there means 100. 1500 divided by 2, 1005 times 0 0.1, 150. Here, 100, 50V. 350, 50V, V is equal to 7 meters per second. Uh, I think this time here is going to be how much? Point one, no? Yeah, point one. Sorry. Point one here. So this time is point one. That is of course okay. Here point one. Simplify it. Thousand five divided by two, seven fifty, seven fifty. 750, 75, 275 equals 50 V, 5.5 meters per second. You have an answer like this? Yes. Answer number two. Answer number two. Right. So area under the graph is change in linear momentum. Carefully measure the time, simplify it, you get the velocity. You get the velocity. MCQ 19. MCQ 19. A truck filled with sand is moving with velocity V on a smooth horizontal road. If sand falls on the truck through a small hole due to a leakage, what will happen? Now there's a truck. Truck has sand filled in it. Little by little sand is falling. So what will happen? Guaranteed momentum will change. So momentum is conserved. No, MV is constant. What's going to happen? Mass reducers, velocity will increase. So velocity of the truck decreases with time. Wrong. 
velocity of the truck increases with time kinetic energy decreases with time a truck filled with sand is moving with a velocity v on a small smooth road if sand falls from the truck through a small hole due to the leakage what is true velocity of the truck decreases wrong mass reduces velocity increases velocity of the truck increases b correct kinetic energy of the truck decreases with time how do you know this p squared equals to me momentum is constant when mass reduces kinetic energy will what increase the statement c is wrong only b is correct only b is correct so only b is correct for this right now so mass reduces to keep this conserved velocity will increase velocity of the truck decreases wrong velocity of the truck increases with time correct kinetic energy of the truck decreases with time wrong mass reduces kinetic energy will increase so true statement is only b only b okay question number 20 a mass m moving with velocity v mass m moving with velocity v explodes into two parts one has a mass m1 and the other has a mass m2 m2 direction there is 30 direction there is 30 This is vertically upwards V, right? What's the ratio m two of m one? So only B here means uh, the only B should be the answer, okay, right? This one. Mass moving with velocity V. Now momentum triangle. Initial momentum. is in that direction mv final momentum should also be in the same direction final momentum should also be in the same direction so m2 times we don't know the velocity here start from one vector where it ends start the other vector join the initial terminal join the initial terminal that should be mv that should be mv the yeah, angle 30 the yeah, angle 30 so they are asking you what is the ratio m2 divided by m1 what is the ratio m2 divided by m1 so i don't know this velocity let's say will i can take components v2 cos 30 forward direction v2 sin 30 downwards v2 sin 30 downwards at forget about the triangle will right total initial linear momentum equals total final linear momentum in the perpendicular direction m1 v upwards m2 v2 sin 30 downwards m2 v2 sin 30 downwards bring all vectors in the same direction m1 v minus m2 v2 sin 30 upwards So m two v two sine thirty. That is going to be m one v. Okay. What about the momentum in the forward direction? I'll show the shortcut to us. Huh? I'll show the long method then the shortcut. Initial momentum m v forward. 
final momentum m2 v2 cos third m2 v2 cos third right they are asking you what's the ratio m2 over m m2 over m actually if you divide this actually if you divide this i'll erase this side and do it if you divide this m2 v2 sin 30 divided by m2 v2 cos 30 that is equal to M1 V divided by capital M V tan 30 M1 what is capital M M1 plus M2 simple tan 30 is 1 over root 3 M1 take M1 out Or if I take M2 out, M1 over M2 plus 1. Here also M1 over M2 is X. X plus 1, 1 over root 3. M1 over M2, I take it as X. X plus 1 equal root 3 X. Root 3 X minus X is 1. X equal root uh, X equal X times root 3 minus 1 is 1. So here X equal 1 over root 3 minus 1. At once here if you want you can simplify it. We will do like this. They are asking M2 over M1. No? We will simplify it direct easier. M2 over M1. M2 over M1, I'll take it as X. So I'll take M1 out. M1 out. 1 plus M2 over M1. 1 over root 3, 1 over 1 plus x, 1 plus x is root 3, x is root 3 minus 1, so m2 minus m1 ratio is root 3 minus 1, right, from this we can say our answer is answer number 1, our answer is answer number Okay. Right. Question number 21. Question number 21. Two men standing on ice, six meter separation. So here there is a man, man A. Here there is a man, man B. They are pulling on a rope. Six meter separation. What are the distances moved by A and B when they touch each other? So initially they are at rest. So when they touch each other, they move very close. So just to make it a bit much more clearer. A and B. When they meet each other, somewhere here, A and B when they meet, displacement of A is X, displacement of B is Y, X plus Y is going to be 6 meters. So total initial linear momentum equals total final linear momentum. 
initial linear momentum zero, final linear momentum, mass of A, velocity of A with respect to earth. Mass of B, velocity of B with respect to earth. Bring all vectors in the same direction. Bring all vectors in the same direction. MB, V, B, comma, E. If I make this change the direction, minus. Mass of A, velocity of A, comma, E. Mass of B, velocity of B, comma, E. Mass of A, 50 kilogram. Velocity of A is displacement over time. Mass of B, 70 kilogram, Y over T. 5 times X, 7 times Y. X equals 7 divided by 5, 1.4 Y. X plus Y equals 6 meters. They are asking the distance has traveled. X is 1.4 Y plus Y equals 6. 1.5 Y equals 6. Y equals how much? 4 meters. Therefore, X is equal to how much? X equals 6 meter separation. 5, 7 divided by 5, 1.24. 1.4. X plus Y is going to be 6 meters. X plus Y is going to be 6 meters. So, 1.4 times uh, 4. 1.4 plus 1, sorry, 2.4. Mistake. Calculation. Two point four y equal six. Y equal sixty over twenty four, ten over four. Ten over four means two point five meters. Two point five meters means here three point five meters. A will travel 3.5, B will travel 2.5. Correct answer is answer number 5. A will travel 3.5, B will travel 2.5. Correct answer answer number 5. Okay. MCQ 22. Now here the shortcut is cut. Mass into displacement equals mass into displacement. That's all. So next MCQ onwards, I'll do like that. Two objects, mass m and 2m, moving towards each other with velocities u and u o2 undergo head on collision and move as a single object after the collision. What can you say? So, mu two m. U over 2. So, initial momentum MU plus 2M U over 2. MU forward plus MU backwards. Initial momentum is 0 means final momentum will also be what? 0. First question, magnitude of the change in momentum of the smaller mass is equal to the magnitude of the change in momentum of the other mass, correct? No. MU to rest and MU to rest, this also comes to rest. So change in momentum magnitude is same, statement A is correct. Larger force acts on the smaller mass during the collision. Both the forces are same. Statement B is wrong. Both the forces are same. Ratio between their kinetic energies after the collision is equal to the mass ratio of the objects. Ratio between their kinetic energies after collision is equal to the mass ratio of the objects. Now, Okay, they are telling like this. These on the opposite side. 
we can tell like this also. The picture that they have given. Here, 2m is going u over 2. Initial momentum is mu. 2m into u over 2 means another mu. All together 2mu. They join together and go means 3m times v1. Right. Initial momentum equals final momentum. 2mu equals 3mv1. mm cancel of v1 is 2u divided by 3u. Magnitude of the change in momentum of the smaller mass. Smaller mass mu now 2m over 3 is equal to the magnitude of the change in momentum of the larger mass. Right? How can the momentum be equal? One is reducing, one is increasing. If the reduced amount and the increased amount are same, then only they are what? Equal. Statement A is anyway correct. Statement A is anyway correct. Larger force acts on the smaller mass. Wrong. Both the forces are same. Action, reaction. Newton's third law. Ratio between their kinetic energies after collision is equal to the mass ratio of the objects is equal to the mass ratio of the objects. What does that mean? Ratio between the kinetic energies after collision. Half total mass 3m. Ah, ratio between the kinetic energies after collision. Right. After collision. 2m times. Velocity is how much? 2u over 3. 2u over 3 square. Half m after collision 2u over 3. So kinetic energy ratio is kinetic energy of 2m to kinetic energy of m. These two cancel off will be 2m over m. Statement C also correct. A and C correct. A and C correct means answer number 2. A and C correct means answer number 2. So here, A and A is correct, B is wrong. Here, C is correct. A and C correct. A and C correct. MCQ 23. MCQ 23. A toy train compartment A of mass 4 kilogram moves with a velocity U, undergoes a head-on collision with another compartment B of mass 1 kg and move as one object after the collision. So quickly you can write it. 4 times u collides with 1, 5 times v. Final velocity is 4u divided by 5. Right. What is the value of u if the loss in kinetic energy is 1.6? Loss in kinetic energy is initial kinetic energy half 4 times u squared minus half, 5 times v squared, 4u divided by 5 squared. Loss in kinetic energy is 1.6 joules. 2u squared, 5 divided by 2, 16 u squared over 5 squared. 1, 5 will cancel off. 2 times 1, 2 times 8. 2u squared minus 8u squared over 5. 10u squared minus 8u squared over 5, 1.6. Cross multiply. 1.6 times 5 is going to be 8. 2u squared. u squared is equal to 4, u is equal to 2. u is equal to 2 means answer is answer number 2. 23, answer number 2. 23, answer number 2. Right. MCQ 24. MCQ 24. An object of mass 1.2 kg is kept on a smooth surface. Kept on a smooth surface. And released from rest. So it's coming down, released from rest. What is the momentum of the object 4 seconds after 4 seconds? Momentum of the object after 4 seconds. 
look at this self. So the acceleration acting there, of course, g sin 30, v is equal to u plus a t down the plane. Acceleration g sin 30 is 5 whole seconds, 20 meters per second. What's the momentum delta or peak gain there? Mass into velocity. Mass is 1.2 into 20. 24 kg ms minus 1. Answer is answer 1. Question 25. A firefighter sprays water out of a tube 20 kilograms per second. Horizontal velocity 15. What's the force he should exert to keep it stationary? Force on the water equal force on the hose. Force on the hose to balance it, you must apply external force. V times delta M over delta T. So velocity is 15. Velocity is 15. Here 20. How much? 300 newtons. Answer number 4. So the water is, the, the tube is pushing the water forward. The water is pushing the tube backwards. We have to balance it by equal opposite force. MCQ 26. MCQ 26. MCQ 26. A truck with a tract and trailer is accelerating forwards. Mass of the trailer is four times the mass of the tractor. Force exerted on the tractor by the trailer. The tractor is there. Trailer is also there. Trailer is there. Tractor is there. Mass of the trailer is four times the mass of the tractor. Force exerted by the tractor on the trailer. F1 equal opposite F1. Here F. What will be your answer? Every action has equal opposite reaction. It will be equal to the force exerted on the trailer by the tractor. Force on the tractor by the trailer is equal to force on the trailer by the tractor. Answer is answer number 4. Newton's third law. Newton's third law. Right. MCQ 27. An object of mass M is moving forward with velocity V. Object of mass M is moving forward with velocity V. Undergoes a head-on collision with the object of mass 2m at rest. Head-on collision like this at rest. Direction of motion of m and 2m are perpendicular after the collision. After the collision, m and 2m will travel perpendicularly. m will go that way, maybe 2m will go this way. Perpendicular. Vector diagram correctly representing the moment after collision. So what's the rule? Total initial linear momentum equals total final linear momentum. Now shortcut. Huh? Total initial linear momentum is mv. So total final linear momentum is also what? mv for sure. So when you draw the vector diagram, M here, two M there. So guaranteed M and some velocity there. Two M and some velocity there. Initial terminal should give you M V. Correct answer is answer number three. Correct answer is answer number three. Because these two are perpendicular to each other after collision. Right. MCQ 28, right? No, initial momentum equal final momentum. Initial momentum horizontal means final momentum also horizontal. So final vector diagram MV, M1V, initial terminal should be same as initial. 
Can I join you? Question number 28. Question number 28. Components of linear momenta along X and Y before and after collision are given in the table. There are two objects. Momentum of X, momentum of Y before collision is there. After collision, momentum of X, momentum of Y. So 3 and 4 before 2 and 2. After collision, 7 and 2. Right. Initial momentum equals final momentum. Components of momenta along the x and y axis before and after. Before and after. So, momentum in the x direction should equal momentum in the x direction there before and after. So, the only way it can be 5 is minus 2. Momentum in the y direction is conserved here 6. Here it will be 4. So, minus 2 and 4. Answer is answer number 4. Simple. Momentum in the x direction is separately conserved. Momentum in the y direction is separately conserved. So x direction total momentum should equal final after collision. After collision x direction momentum. Y direction momentum before collision should equal y direction momentum after collision. So your answer there is given. Simple. MCQ 29. Mass M1 traveling with velocity 1. Mass M2 is traveling with velocity 2. Their respective kinetic energies are E1 and E2 respectively. The respective kinetic energies are E1 and E2. Elastic collision. Elastic collision means there is no kinetic energy loss. Or total kinetic energy is the same. So which graph correctly represents the kinetic energy? Please be a bit smart. Kinetic energy is a scalar. There is no direction. So kinetic energy can't be negative. First one is wrong. Second one is wrong. Third one is wrong. Fifth one is wrong. Only possibility is answer number one. Initial kinetic energy increases. Other kinetic energy what? Reduces. So, if I add E1 and E2 here, elastic, no? the increase here and the reduction there, both are what? Same. If you use common sense even, your answer is answer number 4. You can see. Answer is answer number 4. Right. Last one. 30. Mass M1 is moving with a momentum P0. Undergoes a head-on collision with M2 at rest. Which of the following variations of momenta of the two cases before and after? Now, momenta is a vector. Momenta is a vector. So, initial momentum I'll mark as P0. Remember, final momenta also should be the same. These mass M1. So, final momenta means after collision M2 also starts traveling. No. So whatever happens, M1 momentum opposite, M2 was 0, no? This should go forward. Plus and minus this height and that height same means plus minus cancel of resultant will be same. This is correctly given in Answer number 4. Correctly given in answer number 4. Right? So you can see. Easily 30 MCQs. You can solve. Even if you take time. Exactly about an hour. And therefore you can see. The, the way you have to think. Always logically question yourself. If you logically question yourself and go forward. Easy to solve MCQs. You can't memorize and solve. You should know the theory. But logically think and move forward. Then it's easier, much more easier to solve the MCQs. So I'll meet you all next time again. We'll be discussing the essay part of it.
Uh, so hope you will correct all your mistakes and join for the next session. Till then, keep working. Trust in your ability. Trust in the process. The process will make you perfect.